Okay, we are approaching the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, located in Abu Dhabi, the capital city of United Arab Emirates. This is the largest mosque in the country. It took them 10 years to complete this mosque. Um, it was completed in 2007 um, and costed them $545 million. This mosque has 82 domes of different sizes and four minarets. Uh, Sheikh Zayed, who's, um, uh, who was the president of the UAE, he passed away in 2004 and he's buried in the courtyard of this mosque. This is an interesting and important fact. There are so many important facts and interesting facts that you have to know about this beautiful mosque. First of all, the marbles they used in the construction of the mosque. They got marbles from all over the world. They got marbles from India, from Macedonia, from China, Italy. So, uh, especially the marble from um India. It's called the Makrana mar marble. It's a type of white marble and they popularly use it for sculpture and in um, and for um, um, building decor. Um, this is the same marble they used in the iconic Taj Mahal. So uh, this uh, the name Makrana comes from Makrana, the town of Makrana in Rajasthan, India. So this is the entrance to the mosque. You go through the dome, there are elevators and the elevators take you down to the basement and then you walk underground and reach the mosque that's on the other side. Yeah, once inside um, the basement, um, it's a long walk from the um, basement to uh, to the mosque. Um, previously, I have been to this mosque. I walked the whole entire way, but this time there was a little golf cart thingy that um, gave us a ride all the way to the mosque. And one other thing. Um, for women especially, uh, you have to be co covered head to toe. Um, you cannot have uh, hair or anything exposed. You have to wear appropriate clothing and if you don't have clothing, they sell full coverings that you can purchase. It's very, it's under $30 or $20. You can buy one for yourself. Previously, they used to provide it, but because of COVID, they don't provide it anymore. The design of the Sheikh Zayed Mosque has been inspired by the Mosque of Abu al Abbas al Mursi Mosque in Egypt and also by the Badshahi Mosque in Lahore, Pakistan. The camera doesn't do justice to the beauty of this marvelous building. Um, the mosque is so beautiful. Uh, you have to come here to see this beautiful structure. But 
until you do um, I'll make videos for you of all the places I go to the pool outside the mosque is so calm and still and serene it, uh, the whiteness of the mosque reflects in the pool and it looks so beautiful and um, I'm at loss for words to express the beauty and serenity of this place um, it's all completely made of marble it's it's pristine it's beautiful and um, and uh, I don't know how to express uh, this beauty in words. I'm trying my best to capture the beauty of this mosque in the best possible way that I can with my recording skills but um, honestly pictures and the camera is not doing this mosque any justice you just have to be here it's really so beautiful the, the brilliant whiteness of the marbles, of the different kinds of marbles, the textures, the blues, the teals, the reds. Oh my God, they are all so rich. And um, all these flowers and everything that you see here, um, they, they are all gemstones, they are pre semi-precious gemstones that they've used. So uh, you can see all the green leaves are, um, I think, uh, um, what they call adventuring gemstone. And, um, and um, uh, what's this? Um, agate Excuse or me. agate. Your hair, please. Um, yeah, the gemstones. And the blues are the lapis lazuli. And uh, the purples are the uh, amethysts. And the yellows could be uh, jaspers, uh, but I don't know what they used here, but um, uh, they are all gemstones. And the reds, those are um, gemstones too. So they d use different kinds of uh, semi-precious stones and uh, gemstones. It's all inlaid in marble. They look so beautiful and and um, uh, I just it's uh, I, it's something to see it's breathtakingly beautiful I cannot I cannot emphasize uh, how beautiful it looks all the domes look at the domes like some 80 something domes of various sizes and um, all the archways they remind me of um, they remind me of the um, it's so moorish of the cordoba palace in spain it's so beautiful look at these beautiful archways they are lined one behind the other behind the other and behind the other it's so beautiful there are so many of them it's just like you look at the place you stand at any one point or one place and you just look around and it's and it's simply breathtakingly beautiful so all these columns um, in the main uh, in the 
main hallway um, they are clad with marble and inlaid with a mother of pearl as you can see beautiful inlay work I look at all these beautiful colors and this this particular wall reminds me of the Iznik tiles of Turkey. I think they are Iznik tiles of Turkey. Correct me if I'm wrong. But these colors are so rich. The blues, the cobalt blue, the turquoise, the red, the greens. Oh my god. And I, I just cannot uh, stop wondering about all the different kinds of glazes they use to make those tiles so rich and so colorful so beautiful like to stand in the middle of the square and capture all the four sides uh, but um, I couldn't do that um, they were not letting people go to the middle of the square so I did my best to capture the place from the place I was standing so look at this beautiful place I tried to capture all four um, sides just look at this place. Isn't this beautiful? And you and you think the video is too long, 
I know I um, did look at this beautiful place I don't want to rush through this I was standing there in the hot sun filming recording capturing and trying to capture the beauty of this beautiful place um, and um, I don't want to edit and cut it out look at this beautiful prayer hall. my god it's simply breathtakingly beautiful I don't know where to start the 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 flowers in the walls they are textured they are, they are, they are textured oh my god all these beautiful flowers as i mentioned before they're made of gemstones and semi-precious um, uh, gemstones um they are so beautiful so ornate so opulent i cannot I cannot describe the beauty of this and the camera is not doing any justice to this and the chandelier is so beautiful and and I'm having a tough time recording this beauty I need more advanced camera and I need more time and two more sets of hands to record this I know, I know, I know. I'm going round and round, round and round, trying to figure the best angle to film it. Um, I'm trying to capture the beauty. My goodness, look at this beautiful chandelier. There are some very interesting facts about this um, chandelier as well. Interesting facts about this. Uh, beautiful chandelier these are uh, chandeliers in this mosque are from a from a company in munich germany called fostek and this chandelier has uh, millions of swarovski crystals and gold and um, two other important and interesting facts about the chandelier is it's the largest chandelier in the mosque and it is the second largest chandelier inside a mosque. I think the first largest is in the Grand Mosque of um, Muscat, um, Grand Mosque in Muscat, Oman. But I'm not sure about that, but I'll have to look it up. You can look it up too. Um, and another important interesting fact is, it's the third largest in the world and this chandelier is uh, 33 feet in diameter and 49 feet in height so it's it's really big really 
literally i am standing at this place uh, looking at all this beauty around me and i cannot stop thinking how lucky am i to be able to see this kind of beauty truly grateful there's so much of beauty there's so much of opulence and amidst all this uh, there are so many tourists around and there's so much of noise but in spite of it all there's a um, there's a sense of calm in there there's um, there's some kind of a uh, serenity in the air I think is one of the best angles that I could get to capture the place uh, but uh, look at that that's not that's the second largest chandelier in the world it's the largest chandelier in this mosque but also look at the carpet below in the prayer hall there's uh, something uh very interesting about the carpet as well it's the world's largest carpet inside a mosque Um, there are 96 columns inside this prayer hall and each of the column is inlaid with mother of pearl uh, flowers and that's one of the unique specialties of that. The outside is just as stunning as the inside and the inside is just as stunning as the outside. Look at all the carvings and relief work on the marble. It is simply so beautiful. The minarets standing so tall, all the domes. It's, it's really, I won't be surprised if they name it one of the modern wonders of the world. It's a truly one amazing mosque. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I strive to bring good videos. I don't like wasting people's time. So I try to bring meaningful videos. Thank you for the support and thank you for watching me.